Well, it's Divine, it's Divine 89. So I've been sharing experiences that I've had, weird experiences and paranormal experiences. And um, I mean, I had some experiences when I was young, when I was a teenager, which were weird. Um, then I moved into a hotel in the city um, when I was at uni and I got some weird vibes from the place I lived in. But nothing really happened. Um, and then I moved from there into a place in Northcote in High Street and a lot of things happened there and it happened to a lot of the people who stayed there. Um, I had several really um, strong experiences and a couple of um, sort of more moderate sort of experiences that were all sort of strange and, and scary. Um, and then my friend and I moved out of there. Um, she went and stayed with her father, I stayed with a friend. And the first thing that happened when I was moving in and that was there was this banging on the wall of the wardrobe of the room that I was in and I, 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 I thought my friend was banging on, on the wall and I'm like why are you banging on the wall well, I, I went in and I said why are you banging on the wall what do you want and she's like I wasn't banging on the wall and I said you weren't in the closet banging on the wall you weren't putting anything in the closet she's like no and I'm like okay it, I sort of felt like it was letting me know that like, I felt like something had followed us and it was letting us know that it was it was still with us because one of the things that sort of happened when we were in the house, once we really got this sense of there's something in the house with us, I just said, look, we know you're here. We, 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 hear, we hear you. We know you're here. Just, you know, we're okay with you being here. Just, you know, it's just, we know you're here. Just, you know, you know leave us like be sort of thing. And I can't remember what I said, but I talked to the house basically and said, look, we know you're here, we hear you, because we sort of felt like maybe it just wants us to know it's here. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to hurt us or anything, it's just making a lot of noise and doing things to let us know it's here. And what I felt was, because um, someone who had done a, like a tarot reading in the house had said there was, um, or some sort of reading in the house, because so she did tarot cards, but she did a separate sort of seance sort of reading. And she said, I feel like there's like th three people here. There's a boy, a woman, and a man. The man is a very angry energy. And um, that's a bit cliched, but that's what she said. And um, I would felt that really dark energy. That, um, that I felt like the, the male presence, and I just wanted to get out of the house, get out of the room and get back upstairs because he seemed to be just in those couple of rooms. Um, and... Like, after we left, because we kind of wanted to get away from that energy and we just couldn't live there anymore, it just didn't, we just didn't feel right there. And we had an opportunity to get out, so we left. And then, when I was at the other house, there was this banging on the wall, and it, uh, it almost felt like one of the other spirits, either the boy or the lady, was letting us know that she was still with us. That's what it felt like. And then when I moved to another house, the house after that, I moved into my own house, because my friend... Um, moved out and my other friend who had lived with us moved in from her dad's place and then that didn't work out when it was just the two of us. So she left and I was alone in my house and I had to find someone to live with me and I couldn't find another person that I really wanted to move there um, and I just ended up saying it's just easier to just pay more, rent your own place and not have to worry about the whole housemate drama. You save a bit of money if you share but you're okay with money right now, just get, just get your own place. So I did that. And in the first week when I was there, something strange happened. Um, I had a bunch of items on my bookshelf. I went out during the day, I came back, and one of the items was moved, and another item was broken, and it couldn't have happened, um, you know, accidentally. There was nothing that could have moved it, you know. And I felt like something was letting me know it was in the house, that, 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 that it was with me, you know. I feel like... Like, is there something with me? Is there something following me? And it really gave me the creeps. Um, my friend tried to do some sort of reading once, like a, um, like a, um, I think we did a Ouija board or um, like a seance. And she said that I had a, um, a guardian angel, like a spirit that was with me all the time. And it was a boy and like a male. And my um, second, um, I'm not sure now, I can't remember what, I think he was my second oldest brother, passed when he was very young, so I, ne I never met him. Um, and I thought maybe somehow he was with me, and I wasn't sure about that. Um, 
But um, either way, the next two houses I moved into, something weird happened when I first moved in and I felt like that was something letting me know it was there. But then when I moved to this place, nothing happened. And nothing weird has happened since I've lived here. Nothing paranormal, nothing strange, nothing unusual. Um, except after my mum did pass, um, something kept happening and I sort of spoke to the room. I said, okay, mum, if this is you, I know you're here. I get what you say. I understand this is you. And then it stopped happening and it hasn't happened since. And um, if I ever have, like, go to a psychic, I can use that because I've never told anyone about it. So if they know about that, then they're the real deal. So um, I just sort of wanted to share that. That was a sort of, sort of, my sort of history of paranormal experiences. I had a couple of weird things happen when I was a teenager and I lived in, went in a couple of houses where I had experiences. And then I lived in a house that was haunted when I moved out. The next two places I had an experience something happened each time that made me feel like something had followed me. But since then, it's been 15 years and I haven't had any experiences since then. And I'm very happy to have not had any experiences since then because it's not fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.